and getting on to one of the two big games of the night. This is one of the two bigger games of the night. You have Boise State Broncos traveling to the UCF Knights. Now, this one's really going to be interesting. It's on ESPN, normal ESPN, so everyone can get to watch it if you have ESPN. The Broncos went 5-2 and two last year, and they lost to BYU, and they lost to San Jose State in the, in the uh, Mountain West Championship game, right? Uh, I, I normally write down, like, uh, what the records are against each other if they play each other. Boise State has never played UCF, so this is going to be an interesting battle to watch from that standpoint. But UCF also had a lackluster year last year. They only went 6-4, and four, but three of the four losses were by one possession. Lost by 8 to Tulsa, 1 to Memphis, 3 to Cincinnati, if I do remember correctly. They were blown out by BYU in the... Uh, in the postseason, in the bowl game, but that's something the Broncos have in common with UCF. They also lost by a lot to BYU. So again, I expect UCF to be a better team in this one. As you see, they had they went six and four, but three of their four games were very close. And you look at the Memphis game was a game they probably should have won. Dylan Gabriel put up amazing stats. So again, Dylan Gabriel is a guy if you want to watch in this game. And but you're also talking about Bachmeyer. So it's going to be a battle between the two QBs. I know. <laughs> I am very much hoping UCF does win this game because UCF, I put I put $50 uh, against my uncle that UCF would win this game. He's a huge Boise State fan. Uh, so I got to hope that UCF wins because I really do want to make 50 bucks and I don't want to lose 50 bucks. Um, UCF, I do think, is the better team here. They, they're they better coach, I believe, with Gus Malzahn. Uh, they have a better quarterback in Dylan Gabriel and they normally reload on the defensive side of things. I think everything will be fine for UCF and they're going to start out the season well and probably crack the top 25 before next week. Give me UCF to win this one.